loves it's Mika welcome back to my channel so today I decided to show you guys my drugstore full coverage foundation routine uh, as you guys may know or may not know I am currently suffering from some adult acne issues um, and I just recently saw my primary care physician and she referred me to a dermatologist and then she also gave me an antibiotic um, a topical antibiotic that I can use to treat so that hopefully um, this issue will go away but in the meantime for those of you that do have acne scars or acne or you are just looking for a full coverage um, foundation routine that is decently priced and available at the drugstore then this is the video for you so um, I filmed from start to finish it's pretty much just the foundation concealer um, under eye setting powder and blush. I did not go into contouring or really highlighting like that. I will do that in a separate video, but I just wanted to get the basics done. So this is like my how-to um, drugstore full coverage foundation for those of you kind of wanting more coverage and who also suffer from possibly acne or acne scarring. So if you would like to see how I got this full coverage drugstore foundation application, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so you always want to start with a clean face first and foremost. That is so important. Skincare is so important. So we want to make sure that our face is clean and as well moisturized. And then in my case, I applied the um, topical antibiotic. I use it twice a day. So I will go into that if it works with my skincare routine. But so I'm starting off with a clean face. I'm already um, moisturized and then I'm going to lay down my primer first. I first applied the NYX Angelville primer. It is the Skin Perfecting primer it is oil free and I really like this for my oily skin I noticed that it does keep me matte for a decent amount of time so I applied this to my t-zone so my forehead down my nose my chin and then this little area here on my cheeks so first I started off with that and then for foundation um, my holy girl drugstore right now is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte um, 24 hour foundation. I would say that this is a medium full cover foundation. Um, you can build it up to a fuller coverage if you would like without it looking cakey. Um, I recommend this for normal to oily combination skin. I don't really think that this will work for you dry skin ladies out there. Um, I did notice that it does tend to um, adhere to my dry patches when I am really dry. So yeah, I would recommend this for um, oily skin. So I apply this to a flat top kabuki brush. I use um, maybe about a like a pea sized amount and then I place it on my face and then I, skip, I stipple it um, into my skin and then I buff it into my cheeks. And I have been really loving this foundation. It is very long wear, um, full coverage, like I said, it gives you a nice um, demi matte finish and I think it's great. I think it's a great alternative for a, a high-end uh, foundation and it runs you about um, $10-11 at the drugstore. So after I am finished with my foundation application, I move on to concealer. I use the NYX HD uh, Photogenic Concealer in the shade Tan Bronze. Um, I use this under my eyes, under eye highlight. That is the only place that I apply this. So I apply this in a triangle underneath my eyes and then I used a RC Cosmetics tapered um, brush to pat it into my skin. I really do like this concealer. It runs you about four bucks at four to five dollars at Ulta. It doesn't crease on me. It really brightens up my under eye area and I really do enjoy it. So yes, the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. And then to set that concealer, I used the e.l.f. Um, High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. This was like three, I don't know, I think it was like three, four dollars at um, the drugstore. You guys, this is the most amazing drugstore under eye setting powder. It's the only one that's I like, use. It's the only one that I've ever found. I'm not too big on drugstore um, powders or setting powders. 
and I think I heard Shan XO rave about this one and so I picked it up and gave it a try because it's very inexpensive and I love it it really it sets everything it smooths everything out I just I love it obviously I have it on today and it is amazing so that's what I use to set my under eye Oh, and then to set my entire face, I use the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. I am in the shade Cinnamon Spice. I use a very, very, very small amount of this stuff. Um, it's a powder foundation, so it has a lot of coverage, and I try not to put too much on my face to look too cakey. So um, I use this, and I use um, this Tarte, uh, like bamboo, I don't even know. I'll leave it down below. But I just go in very lightly um, into this. I just dip it in and I just pat it um, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, the places that I get the most oily, just to set everything in place, make sure nothing moves. So I picked this up at iMats and I'm really loving it. So yes, the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. And then for blush today, I um, have on the shade Berry Amore from Milani. It is their baked blush. I think Milani has amazing, amazing blushes. Very inexpensive. I love them. It adds a nice flush of cover color to my face. And so I applied this to my cheeks. And then for a highlight, I use the Revlon. Um, highlighting palette in the shade bronze glow which looks like this um, just for a nice subtle cheekbone highlight if you can see that um, I, I swirl mainly in the um, these four shades I don't really dip into the white but I do enjoy this highlighter so that is everything. It's all drugstore. Even what I have on my lips is drugstore. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza. Loving this nice bright pop of color. So yeah, you guys, that is my drugstore full coverage foundation routine. I really hope that you guys found this helpful. That you, I think all these items are great, very inexpensive, accessible to you guys. You can get them at CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Target, wherever they sell these drugstore products. And yeah, um, I normally do this routine when I go to work, when I run a run quick errands. Um, I do like my full coverage when I want to go full on glam, but for the most part, those are the products that I stick to. So. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as usual, leave your video request in the comments down below. I'll have everything listed in the description box for you guys. If you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload new videos. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.